Arguably the coolest addition to the game since the start, dual wielding beagles on heavy feels like you're playing in an action movie. I really love playing with these weapons and they certainly have a decent place in the meta. But how do they compare to the LMGs for a mid to long range option? Or are they better at close range? Can they compete with the heavy hitting meta picks like the SA-12-16? Well, let's compare the Deagles with the long standing strongest pick, the SA-12. The new strong contender of this season being the M60 with the RPM buff and the KS-23 as it does share some similarities to the Deagle. And let's see where the Deagles land in the mix. Are they balanced, overpowered, underpowered? Let's first look at some important values for all the weapons we're comparing. So first, the SA-12-16 deals 78 per shot, the M60 deals 19 per bullet, and the KS-23 deals 100 damage per slug, whereas the Deagles deal 44 damage per shot. For damage per mag, the Deagles surprisingly have a lower number than what you'd normally expect from a heavy weapon. It's actually closer to the KS-23, so the reload time being so short kinda does make sense. Although it's not short in comparison to a lot of the other classes, but within its own class, it is pretty short. We can see the RPM of the M60 is up from season three, so it's seeing more play and it's actually a pretty decent pick overall. The RPM of the KS-23 is also about a third of what the Deagle's fire rate is. So it really relies on you landing your shots for both of these weapons in comparison to some of the other stuff like the LMGs. Big bonus for the Deagle's and what really allows them to shine is the headshot multiplier of a 2X instead of a 1.5x. The new Deagles have pretty average range values. The M60 is a bit worse and the shotgun, while it technically has a good range value, you still have to consider the pellet spread as this really determines what range you're gonna be good at. The KS, while having a good range, the retention can actually put this thing into different kill brackets depending on the range, especially with the drop off. Calculating for range is gonna be a little bit more difficult. This is definitely a weapon you want to play at a sort of close to mid range. Now let's get into the juicy TDK values. When facing light, the Deagles aren't the worst of the bunch, but isn't the best either. Now when facing medium, they start to shine a little bit more. And when facing heavy, they finally take over the race. And this is mainly due to the SA-12 cycle animation. But keep in mind that they do have a 2x headshot multiplier, meaning if you land any headshots in these fights, your time to kill significantly drops and can make a huge difference in winning your fights overall. So my thoughts on this weapon is that it is a skill weapon. If you just land body shots, it is about average and not too impressive, but also has slight bloom to deal with even when ADS, which certainly makes it harder to use at all ranges. So you're gonna perform best when you're at a sort of closer to mid range, but don't be afraid to take a lot of those long range shots because if you can land any headshots it can definitely do some damage but also with the lower damage per magazine you can get quite punished if you don't land your shots and when you're handling multiple enemies at the same time you might not be able to clear them out whereas something like the m60 or the lewis can just keep firing down from target to target i don't think this weapon is overpowered as it sits right now it's actually fitting quite well into the game and feels very balanced amongst the rest of the class's options relative to stuff like the Pike and the M26 Matter. Of the three that they added, this certainly feels the most balanced. I also wanna add that with the mesh changes, the SA-12 has actually been seen a lot less and it really isn't as much of an issue. So that weapon actually does feel a lot more balanced overall. The range seems to be getting buffed a lot in a lot of these cases. The heavy class, the medium class, both have a lot of better range options while the light class actually had a lot of its range options nerfed. And I feel like Heavy always had a lot of issues trying to deal with any range options with how bad some of the LMGs and stuff were sitting. So I'm pretty happy to say that the Heavy class can now kind of be successful at all ranges and the Deagles definitely fit into that role of just kind of being able to be used at whatever range you're sitting at. If you want to spend the time to master and improve your accuracy by getting some headshots, this weapon is going to be very rewarding. But if you have an off day, it might not be the best choice and it might just feel like every single magazine that you shoot just ends up being wasted. Because if you don't land enough damage within your magazine, you won't be applying as much pressure as you might be with something like the SA-12 or the M60, for example. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. I've heard a lot of questions regarding the meta in the game, so I wanna do some videos regarding that. So be sure to check those out. 
I'm considering doing potentially some breakdown analysis or just kind of talking about the meta in general. As it stands right now, it, we're clearly in a pike meta. And in the future, I'm not too sure exactly when, but I'm going to have a special guest on and we're going to be discussing a lot of changes within the meta and specifically get into a little bit more of the heavy class and some of the changes that it's gone through because I think of all the classes, heavy seems to have gotten the most drastic change. So I want to discuss that. Thank you to all my members. Comment below what deagle loadouts you're enjoying. Get a fresh fit, enter the arena, shoot your deagles, and I will see you in the finals.